Laparoscopic surgery is a term used to describe surgical procedures performed using one or multiple small incisions in the abdominal wall, in contrast to the larger incision of laparotomy, and is based around the introduction of a specialised type of endoscope through ports placed in the abdominal wall in order to allow the surgeon access to the abdominopelvic cavity. In this way, internal structures can be illuminated and visualised, and with the use of specialised laparoscopic instruments, tissues can be manipulated and procedures performed according to principles of minimally invasive surgery, a broader term used to highlight the benefits that, when correctly indicated and performed, this type of surgery can offer over traditional or open procedures. A minimally invasive approach is now the gold standard for many different procedures, with core laparoscopic techniques forming the basis for surgical training programmes across specialties. This series of films gives a surgeon's perspective of some of the key elements of basic laparoscopic surgery, including description of some of the commonly encountered instruments and equipment, setup of a safe, optimised working environment, abdominal access techniques and establishment of the pneumoperitoneum, and demonstration of some of the underlying principles and core competencies involved in the training of the modern laparoscopic surgeon. Good morning. We're going to perform laparoscopic surgery today. And I want to share with you some essential steps that you need to take uh, before you start the case. First of all, discuss with your team which uh, procedure you're going to do, what kind of trouble you uh, may expect, and which instruments and which supplies you need. I'm very particular about uh, all the instruments and all the uh, supplies. And what I often do is I go with the OR tech to the supplies room and make sure that we get the, the right stuff. And uh, I'm going to give you a few tips. Laparoscopic surgery makes use of an ever-growing range of instruments and equipment, but is centred around the core concept and design of the laparoscopic tower or stack. The key components of this are a gas delivery system, light source, camera system and a monitor. For a detailed description of this setup, refer to the course Endoscopy Tower. The laparoscope, a type of rigid endoscope, has two core functions, illuminating internal structures and carrying an image back to a display monitor. It does this by housing a camera and connecting to a light source and is able to focus an image and concentrate light via a system of lenses in a design that allows introduction through a trocar cannula. Light is transmitted from the light source to the laparoscope via a light cable or light lead made up of multiple fibre optic bundles. The proximal laparoscope comprises the eyepiece and the light post and the body of the instrument contains two channels running within a single metal tube. The first channel forms an outer rim formed of glass bundle fibres, which run the length of the scope and transmit light from the light post to the tip. The second, central channel, consists of multiple rod lenses, which invert and focus an image. Digital imaging chips within the camera head then convert the optical image from the scope into an electrical signal to be transmitted to an external monitor. Laparoscopes have different diameters, the most commonly used being 10 mm, and the distal lens, or objective lens, can have different angles, changing the optical axis and allowing for different types of view, such as the zero-degree scope on the right of the screen, offering a straight-on panoramic view, and the 30-degree scope on the left, offering an oblique forward-facing view, 